This is probably one of the quickest parts that I've ever had arrived too. This was literally in a week. So kudos to these guys. I think it was FT86 that I got this from. They had it on special, which also pushed my decision to grab one. That's about $20 US cheaper than what I could find anywhere else. Even from the actual manufacturer's website, which... Oh, nice catch. Sorry, as I was saying, even from the manufacturer's website. And I couldn't beat this deal. driving experience awaits racing so this is the gate one which is for the Toyota 86 where the reverse is to the left and up it comes for all sorts of different cars this one's quite heavy too just makes the, the shifting feel much nicer evidently slam it brushed Okay, let's open it up. This is one of the older models too, so I don't know if you can continue to find these. New old stock, I guess, that's what I'm trying to say. Okay, Ox tried to fight me. Oh, this is nice. Got a nice little card here. <coughs> racing sticker that's lovely I like the uh, embossed card that's really really nice I dig that just makes the f um, also here too just makes the product feel a little bit more special it's very nicely printed I'll keep that in the sticker scan these things, download your installation guide, but you can go to the website here, just make sure that's in focus. Which is nice. This is the thread adapter. Very nicely built. Beautiful. The gear nut comes in its little bag. That's nice. Oh, oh, geez, that's really heavy. Yeah, it feels double the weight. All right, let's have a look here. Nice little bag, screen printed there, nice. There she is, that's beautiful. Really nice clean engraving, appreciate that. It's really heavy, that's, yeah. Very nicely finished, chamfered edge. I just love finely machined pieces. This is lovely. Look at this. Feels nice too. Yes, if we look at the, so the screen's turned off. It's not that much bigger considering if you add the collar on and then the, the top piece of this coming through. Not that much bigger at all, but yeah, the weight is a sizable difference. I'm not sure, I feel something else in here as well. I'm guessing, well, I'm hoping it's the Allen key. I do have one, but still. So I guess this locks it down inside. And this bit goes over the top, I'm guessing. Yeah. 
All right, so we'll take out Ducky uh, tomorrow. It's terrible weather today, it's raining. And we'll pop this in and also go for a drive. Yeah, I'm very happy with that. That's really, really nice. It's gonna look really good. Okay, guys, while the sun's out, it's turning pretty bad quickly. So uh, we're going to get this gear knob off and replace it with the new one. That'll go in the stock box, and then we'll have this one, which will really match the uh, the reverse lock lever really, really well, I think. So, yeah, let's get to it. First of all, unscrew this one. See what I mean here? It's a year old. The leather's holding up nicely, but the painted area does not. It's all basically worn off. That's usually my skin. You can tell the difference here from what it's supposed to look like down here. Anyway, so next we're going to need a, either a 15mm socket or a spanner. Okay, and I think this was a 4mm wrench. This is going off by their instructions. So the first thing we've got to do is Put on the thread. This is Toyota 86 specific. You can order different ones for different cars. Okay, just make sure this is on nice and tightly. Okay, and the next tip is to thread this on. Now it's not going to fit straight away, we're going to have to change it with the Allen key a little bit, the orientation with the Allen key screw up here. Let's just see how this goes on first. Okay, so it's completely upside down, so we want it to go around one more turn, so we have to turn that screw this way, from what I understand, so let me do it again. Careful not to drop it onto the to the car it's quite heavy so we want it to turn around this way more so the allen key also has to go that way it's already got blue there we go that's one half screw let's see if i did it correctly So we're half now, so we need to do another half screw, and plus a little more because you're obviously going to tighten it, so it's going to go a little bit more than you're expecting. So we're just going to go around 180 degrees again. Just a little more. gone too far so we need to put it back a little bit maybe a quarter turn maybe a half we go to there bang we got it Perfect. 
that's locked down nice and tight too. Just feels nice in the hand, a little bit more bulbous. We've still got our lockout obviously, so all the metal just looks nice in there now. It feels really good, I don't have to worry about getting it dirty anymore. There we go, that was it. I'll pop this one back in the stop box with the other one in case I need it for an emergency. But there, there you go, man. Put that back a bit so you can see. That's the race slammer, racing, sli uh, racing slammer shift knob. Very nice, very happy with that. So, yeah, all done. We'll, uh, take it for a drive but that's about it for that one very simple and thank you to FT86 I think that's where I got it and I'll put a link below all right guys cheers